Our brand with our Alexander Valley wine at a little lower price point, it's only $70 a bottle. Our Napa Cabernet is $100 a bottle. Really is uh, for the person who just got their promotion, uh, for the person who wants to have an affordable luxury at uh, a special dinner that night, uh, whether they're celebrating at a steakhouse or, or out somewhere else. And so that's, that's part of the, 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 the thing that we love about Silver Oak. What are you seeing out of the Asia region for wine consumption? Well, in Asia in particular, of course, it's, it is the soon, or soon to be or is the largest wine consuming right. economy there is. Um, of course, the French have a wonderful head start there. And many California wineries, including Silver Oak and Toomey, our brands, are, are making inroads in Asia. Um, I actually visited there myself last year for the first time just to talk to the consumer and see, see what was happening. And I think it's an exciting, uh, very it's, exciting wine region. It's in interesting. The in future. China, it was all about Romani Conti. It was all about the first growth Burgundies. Now you're starting to see Screaming Eagle show up, those great Napa Valley wines show up in the auctions. But globally, we still have a chronic oversupply of wine. And in Napa Valley, it seems like everybody has a winery now. I mean, every billionaire, every Hollywood celebrity, every pop singer has a wine now. Is it getting commoditized? How do you charge $100 for a bottle of wine? I think that there are, there are wines out there, and then there are brands. And it's like any other uh, type of thing. And I think, you know, we've been at it for 45 years, which for California wine business is from the, almost from the beginning. Um, you know, things really started in the late 60s with Robert Mondavi and, and on. And I think that there's uh, an opportunity in, in the wine world for, you know, kind of these small things. Most of the productions you're talking about for those celebrity brands are very, very, very small right. and, uh, you know, don't impact the, the wine world in a, in a major way.